Hey guys, Brito here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019. Here we are with the Seasons mod here at Ravenport, episode number four. We've just hit early summer, so the days are long. It's time to make hay while the sun shines, apparently. Um, so I think it's rained a little bit overnight. Um, I didn't quite see it because it skips through so quick. But um, check out our canola field here. It's growing, 33%, 32% moisture. Our crop 70% ground moisture, so we've definitely got a little bit of rain overnight. Um, we're not getting any more for uh, two days, possibly 80% chance of rain. Um, drying potential is quite high here as well, so yeah, there's not a lot to do at this point in time. Although I was looking around um, at the map and seeing if there's any places that are available to. Um, Fields available to purchase. We've got field nine, which has got grass. Field one has grass. Field twenty has grass. So I was thinking we could possibly take out a loan to do field twenty, take care of some uh, mowing, then also wind rowing, baling, that sort of stuff. So I think what we should do is um, grab this tractor, the five R, with the front loader attachment on it drop our front loader attachment off to there hopefully that will stay standing up um, go through here and grab our mower put it on the front grab our wind rower put it on the rear and um, we'll head up to that field contact the bank take out a bit of a loan and um, purchase that field, at least that way we can start making some silage bales um, and see how we go hopefully it'll be a good thing for us long term, at least we're making some money at least we're going to have some silage bales sitting at the farm ready to go um, we can possibly make some hay bales too so we could probably turn say part of the field into into um, hay bales and the rest into silage bales that way we're gonna have enough stuff to make some total mixed ration to keep our our cows happy we've only got two of them um, they seem to be pretty happy 76% 343 kilos they're certainly putting on some beef um, starting to get bigger so it's gonna help us in the long run hopefully make make some good money out of them I guess it's just um, a matter of time time will tell I suppose right, so we need to get up around this house that's getting built here up onto our field well now soon to be field a little bit of frame rate loss here at the moment um, sneak through the restaurant here sneak through the back of this area here not sure what that is um, let's drop our wind roller off here so we'll possibly leave this mower on the front which wouldn't be too bad an idea sort our work out work our way um, outside in what we need to do first, of course, is um, I don't think there's anywhere where there's an ATM here nearby except for the shop. So we probably just I know ATM's right here. There we go. Should be able to loan a little bit of money. Uh, let's loan up to let's, let's loan. Uh, oh, whoops, that just got me out of the game. Video editing in the background doesn't help. Let's load loan 250,000. Uh, we'll make the call, we'll purchase field 20, and then we'll start mowing. Then obviously once we're finished with this field, we'll sell it back, um, get our money back, and then be able to keep the grass crops. Alright, so let's mow. We're sort of going to stay away from all these bushes and stuff. sure how far down we're going to be able to go 
before we hit the edge it says we don't actually own the field around right about here so let's set ourselves up at 180 degrees head straight along I don't know if we can get a little bit close to the field, but I think that's fine. I don't want to go up the mountain. So, I think we'll sort of just come up to this tree here, turn, head straight down. So, we sort of want to stick away from going up the side of the mountain because it makes it hard to cut, hard to wind roll and antenna and all that sort of stuff as well. So. Alright, so that's first lap. We're going to have a fair few laps here to get this done. But it's certainly going to be, hopefully, um, worthwhile for us in the long run. Missed a bit. So probably shouldn't worry too much about little bits that we're going to miss, but it's all extra money, really, in our bank. I wonder if we could, um, I wonder if it's better doing it the other way now. So we've sort of just drive on the, the grass that we've already cut. I don't know if I can actually see. We can see a little bit from the in-cap view. So let's do a little bit from in here. We'll see how we go. Hopefully we don't miss anything. So obviously once this is done, we'll need to um, wind row a little bit. We're going to need to tatter a little bit as well. So I'd like to get some hay bales um, and some grass, well not some grass bales, some hay bales and some silage bales. And that'll allow us to get some total mix ration and be able to hopefully start, um, start getting our cows a little bit healthier because I don't think... They're sitting at seventy six percent, so it's not bad, but it could be a little bit better. All right, there we go. Just really need to try and square this off. Make it a little bit easier for us. There we go. Back right up. head straight through this way change that view again I don't mind doing in-cap stuff I don't like doing a lot of it I like to be able to see the whole tractor just a personal preference so I think you can see there um, it's missed a fair bit other than that yeah, missed a bit more um, I think when we actually go cutting across the field the grass certainly looks a lot thicker from off the field than it does from around the field. That could just be me thinking it is when it really is not. I don't know. Oh, I think so. Like, it looks thicker to me. Looks like we're getting a lot more grass. Um, obviously, if it's been fertilised, which it should have, um, it'll be giving us a little bit extra yield, I suppose. Alright, so I guess one thing we should look at too is that we should be doing some fertilising jobs while we're waiting, shouldn't we? We really should. Um, fertilising field 18, so where's that? Just here. Um, 18, 21, 22, 23. Twenty-three. Let's accept that. Twenty-two. Okay, we can only do one at a time. I don't have the extra um, contract mods. I do also think we have some weeds on our field too. So it's one other thing that I'll need to look at. Um, 
we've set ourselves up to go. Let's have a look at here. Like a small patch of weeds here. So I did see that before. So what field are we going to first? Field 23. Should be the next field on the left. Set up a course to spray. And um, let him do his thing. I believe it's 21 meters as well, so um, spray. All right, let's go course generation. We're gonna go north east. We wanna head west. Done. We go start at the first waypoint. Um, where are we? Field 23. spray just in case there's some weeds or something that we can look at as well all right there we go doing his thing we can keep doing our thing once that's completed we can move him along to the next field and then the next field bring in a little bit of cash it's not going to be a great deal but you know fertilizers not that expensive so it's all you know, going to be going to be a good amount of profit in our pocket, hopefully. Here I am completely butchering this up. Right, there we go. Head down this way. Need to be at Tom's five again. I keep forgetting to redo it to Tom's five. Still seventy six percent. We have to get their weight up a fair bit. So we could hire a worker to cut this as well, but we'll use our, um, our course plane, our hired workers, to do some fertilising. So I'm not quite sure on um, how much money we'll really make after we pay for the fertiliser, but it's all going to be you know, money in our pocket. And at this point in time, we're not making any money um, of our own crops and stuff. I think. I think doing some fertilising and some contract jobs is going to be good for us. Oh, missed a bit again. Just trying to have a drink and wasn't concentrating on where I was driving for a minute there. So probably over halfway getting this done. We can actually, no we can't, I'm not sure if we can actually turn the mower to the other side, it'd be good if we could. So mow this way, then when we come to go back up the other end of the field, turn the mower so it's on the right hand side. Just a little bit again. So we'll probably we'll come back through and just touch up all these little spots. I've missed so the contracts are done on that field didn't take very long at all and um, that's extra money in our pocket now let's get this this part done and we'll move him on to the next job So you're done, let's go stop driver, contract completed, there's getting me out of the game again, apologise, painful, uh, field 22 was somewhere wasn't it, field 22, right, get rid of you, Ooh, there's some weeds on the field now, I don't think they'll want us to spray for weeds. Which is a bit bouncy. Probably should go the other way, but actually, yeah, we probably should. Let's go. Horse generation, build 22. 
it's northeast and I want to go south if it will let us it won't go north they go southeast Ooh. southeast and go north there we go um, so this is field 22 so field 22 spray I think it's going to do a double pass here but just try not to worry too much about it So should stop here, unfold the spray out, do his thing, awesome. Continue on with um, our mowing, we're nearly finished. It's taken us a little bit to get it done, but... Hopefully it's going to be a good amount of profit in the long run. this way so we're going to need to buy um, a tether as well I want to cut the field in half I'll do half silage half hay and um, I guess we'll see how that sort of pans out so line ourselves up quick look uh, tether 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 6 meters at 8.7, probably better off getting that one. It's not that much more for, you know, some more meterage. We'll just need to sort out where we're going to get it delivered. We'll change our delivery location to around here somewhere and um, get it delivered. I know it's probably lazy because we're so close to the shop, but. Still got little bits to touch up everywhere. It'd be much better if we had a bigger tractor and the front and rear attaches, or the mower on the front and the rear, would be making it a lot easier for us. But sort of just use what we can at the moment as far as um, budget and also power goes. We don't have enough power to be pairing both the mowers with this little tractor. Alright, so keep heading down this way. Should be two more runs and then a little bit of tie-in up. And um, then we'll look at getting our tether. Just scraps of grass everywhere. So close. Alright, got all that done. It's a little patch to the right there. I like probably shouldn't worry too much about them, but with it being seasons um, and us only being allowed to cut grass certain times of the year, sort of want to make sure we don't miss anything. I mean, this little tiny bit of grass here is probably not going to make great deal of difference as far as the deal goes but I can't not cut it so I'm not sure how that contract's going 56% so he's on his way through just making sure he's not stuck anywhere I think that is it awesome let's change our delivery pointer there I'll drop you off there we go let's have a look at our tethers as I said we will buy this guy because we're going to need it long term so once we pick it up we'll have a quick look at um, around the other side quick look at the drying 
got no rain coming at the moment, so certainly today and Monday, today and tomorrow, perfect time for drying. You know, we've got double plus there, so I think let's back back to here. Um, we'll start our tethering from here. Set ourselves up at 180 degrees. We'll tether this side and the rest to the right can be turned into silage bales and the left will be turned into hay, of course. Okay, so he's finished the contract on that field too, which is good. Doesn't like going up the hill. Can we get it if we go down? Yeah, we can. Good. Oh, let's stop you for a second. Uh, we've got a stop driver done. I think there was one there for field 21 as well. Field 21. No, cultivating. Okay. But there was another one. Field 18? Field 18. Uh, fertilizing was 18 18 except contract done so I've made a little bit of money um, it's good course generation this one we want to go southeast we want to go west beautiful Back him back, give him plenty of room. So field 18, field 18. Spray, drive course. Let's continue on with our tethering. So I know this is probably not the most exciting, exciting thing for you guys to watch, but with it being seasons, now I sort of want to go through and show you everything that needs to be done, how it needs to be done, and um, hopefully learn together because I'm not um, a master of seasons. I know nothing about it. I never played seasons in FS17 um, or FS15. If it was FS15, I don't know. FS17, I definitely didn't play seasons in FS17, so I'm sort of learning as I play um, and hopefully I'm teaching you guys something as we go along All right, so I think we're gonna have to wait a certain amount of time for this grass to dry before we can turn it into a hay bale I'm not quite sure how it's gonna work So if I jump out now and go like this, uh, grass, it doesn't tell us anything. I thought it might have gave us, you know, a bit of moisture of the actual hay that's on the ground. I don't know. I guess we'll have to take a quick look at the information and um, see if that's going to help us. Because, as I said, I'm learning as I'm playing and hopefully you guys are learning too. Uh, if we go into here, as I said, go all the way down the bottom. Um, hey, there we go. I think we did read that, but it doesn't sort of tell us too much. Maybe you don't have to tether it. Maybe if you just leave it on the ground, the grass will sort of dry by itself. quite sure um, harvested stage this month when they killing off um, swath bales doesn't say anything about producing hay like I'm assuming um, that with this it'll start to dry by itself so maybe we can windrow it now 
and turn it straight into hay? I don't know. Oh, so grab this guy. I think we'll start down here again. Contract field 18's finished. Good work. We'll go and do some more contracts, I think. I'll try not to grab any. Uh, you can see it's sort of turning it back into grass again. I think we're certainly going to need to let it dry on the ground for a few days. I'll try and get this turn made. So that was kind of pointless, wasn't it? Once you start to windrow it, it sort of turns it back. Let's bring up our map so I can make sure I'm optimising how much windrow, windrowing we're doing. So yeah, that certainly, certainly is not helping. But I think if we get a um, sort out of baler now, we should be okay. And I'm just going to lease it. Uh, I was going to go with the Kuhn LSB 1290D. No, not that one. The FBP 3135. It's automatically got the foil. I'm going to do a green foil. Lease that, and that should arrive here. And we should be able to hopefully turn this other side of the field into some silage bales. Fingers crossed. I'm all over the shop at the moment. Oh, there we go. Move to the left a little bit. 360. Let's finish that contract. A little bit of extra money. We can actually work out how much I've made off contracts and how much it's going to cost us to fill the sprayer back up and we can work out, you know, if it's worthwhile or not. I'm pretty sure it's certainly going to be worthwhile. Oh, here I am all over the shop again. Sort of cramped myself for room, which doesn't help. So I wonder if we, we need to wind row it and then allow it to dry. As I said, it's still a whole new learning curve for me. Um, how to get it all done. It's probably a bit pointless doing this, probably should have joined it with one of the other swaths, but anyway. So the tether's pretty much going to be pointless. I think it's going to be something I need to investigate a little bit further. Right, let's drop that off. Let's just grab the baler. We'll test this out. Let's um, stop you as well for now. Let's focus on getting this done. Right, let's make sure Unfold baler, unfold baler. Turn it on, lower the pickup. So hopefully we're gonna make some good grass bales out of it. I'll have to wait and see. So I think I don't know if we need to leave the grass like this on the ground. Come back and wind roll once it's dry. I'm not quite sure. And he should start wrapping. Awesome. Try and sneak up this hill. 
little tractor that could. Turn around, head back down. Perfect. Okay, unload the bale. So not going to get a massive amount of bales, I don't think, but I mean, a few is better than none. We just need to wait for our straw bales as well. Slow back down. Let's see if I can't scan this. No, not yet. We should be able to scan it eventually. Let's jump out and see if we can scan it now. Um, 48 hours to go before it's fermented. Perfect. So we need to get um, a bale trailer as well. Load the bales onto the trailer and that sort of stuff and um, get them back to the farm. So obviously we don't need to wait for it to dry to turn grass into silage. But we're going to have to wait for the grass to dry on the ground before we windrow it. So I guess I'm just going to have to work it out um, exactly what we sort of need to do. So hopefully we can get one more bale, maybe two. If we run a little bit short, I'll just have to make sure I grab a little bit more grass from the other side. To make sure we've got enough to make another bale. There's no point in leaving the grass in there. So obviously this guy won't wrap the hay bales. It'll just get spat straight out the back, pretty much. So it should be, should be able to get five bales. So I think we're going to need to grab some grass from the other side, but... We had the other side turn into silage bales too, that might be... Might be, you know, 10 bales. We're going to go pretty close, probably about 92%. 93 maybe. Or even higher. 95. 36. I'll just do a run through this way until we're full. There we go. Wrap it, dump it off. That's five bales. There we go. Dump it off. going to roll down the hill. Let's see if we can't find somewhere to say store this stuff out of the weather. I don't think we'll be able to. I don't think there's anywhere down here that we could possibly use. This looks like an old um old foundry maybe old animal area certainly nowhere down here that we can store it so we might just have to store it over here for now so dump that off pick up our windrower and bring it back to here so I'm not going to windrow this we're sort of just going to have to leave it as it is now let the grass dry. I don't know how long we're going to have to let it dry for. As I said, it's sort of a whole learning curve for me. Dump you off there. We can pick up the mower. As far as the tether goes, might just... Um, where is he? 
There he is. Might as well just sell him. Oop. Get rid of that. Head back towards the farm. Gonna need to get front loader attachment, um, bale fork, and also a bale trailer to come back and collect these guys. Bring them back to the farm and be good to go. I think we need to do a little bit of weed spraying too, so done a few contracts. Have a look at our income. Should 4,600 for contracts. Probably used $1,000 worth of fertilizer maybe, so I mean, we're all, it's all making money. Right, so we'll drop this guy up. As I said, we'll grab a front loader attachment. We'll grab our bale fork. And um, try and bring those bales back to the farm. The price of um, silage isn't very good. 530, so it's not great. Um, it's what, $2,000 per bale? So yeah, it's certainly not a great price for bales at all at the moment. Silage. I don't think if we bring up in here, where is it? sale price um, it's just all chickens and stuff hay and straw there's no hook silage 308 it's 184 okay so not great um, front loader attachments over here Look at our cows, how are they doing? Uh, 343 kilos, so they're still put on a bit of weight. Don't know what their value is going to be. Um, cleanliness is 100%. Um, might quickly check on their value. I know we're not going to sell them anytime soon, but. 996 still, so we're still losing a little bit of money. I don't know what we're gonna sort of what we need to get them to before they start making us some good money. So, how's our growth side of things? We've still got to wait till the end of summer, um, in autumn, I think it is. Spring, summer, autumn, winter, I think that's how it works. I've never been very good with seasons. Which doesn't help when you're playing seasons. Alright, so we have to come up here and we have to buy a bale trailer. Load these guys up and then um, take them back home. Ready to use some total extraction which could probably use total extraction now we have um, we have a hay bale sitting there we've got silage bales event soon we'll have silage bales we can buy a straw bale too so possibly possibly sort that out um, right, let's grab a trailer Buy. It's only 8,000, it's not too bad. So we can drive over this guy's crop, doesn't matter, it's all it's all done anyway. It's all withered away. Didn't harvest in time. Alright, so let's go and stick this bale on the trailer. Never been very good at loading bales. shows. I don't know why they they actually pull back so much. It's a little bit frustrating when that happens. Try and sit this guy nice and square. A 
it's 4,000 litres of grass at the moment, so it hasn't turned into silage bale yet, so that's good. Uh oh. Okay. Ah, so can we get that on the other side of that one? Probably not now. We've just buggered everything up. Drop it off, see what happens. And that's why <laughs> I don't like loading bales because I struggle. I don't know if I can just nudge this. Completely off. It's not what I wanted to do, but let's get this bale before it rolls away. So let's try and stop you from rolling, but I don't think that's going to work. It's going to keep rolling. up this time. Back and back to try and get this on nice and neat. So we've got plenty of room so we don't really need to stack them overly tight but I'd like them to look like they've been put on by a professional. Even if I am no professional. Okay look at that. Bale spike right to the face. So that's those two on. Let's try and get another two on and try not to ruin it. Ruin it as bad as we did the first time. It's probably two grand per bale, so we're looking at what? Ten grand. So not a massive amount of money, but still not bad considering it's pretty much free money with the way that the grass grows every year so it looks like the crop's still too wet to harvest I think that's what that um, second icon is what we're harvesting at the moment anyway I'll need to I guess I'll need to just leave this tractor up here somewhere for now um, it's not going to rain at the moment so having it out in the open shouldn't matter too much there we go did that much better that time try and get a bowl fork to the head Got one more in the back this guy can party in the back all by himself. Alright, head back towards the trailer, let's throw this guy on. And, um... Pretty much going to call it an episode there, I think. Our time is probably not too far off. Um, going off at the moment, so... Throw that guy on. Let's throw a couple of straps over the top. That probably really shouldn't hold it, and it wouldn't hold it in real life, but anyway. Um, yeah, we need to take this back. Oops. So we probably don't need to take it back right now, but... wouldn't hurt because we're sort of going to have to bring our trailer back anyway to be able to um, grab the hay bales too so right there guys that's our timer going off in the background um, 
hope you guys enjoyed this episode. As always, smash that like button. Leave a comment, let me know what you think of the series so far. If you want to see it continue, um, all that sort of stuff. Let me know if you're playing Seasons 2 and how you're traveling along and how you're enjoying it. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Bruno, thanks for watching. See you again soon.